hear that crowd roar with excitement, this is real sports football for the Atari 2600 from 1982. It's a competitive game we have today. It's the Atari Yellow Pixel People versus the classic game room Blue Ballers. And that's, of course, spelled with a Z. Don't forget the Z at the end. There's no proper spelling of Blue Ballers, so you can pretty much spell it however you want. And right there, that's the best part of the game, that you can give your teams fictional names by using your own imagination. They'd charge you money for that as an add-on today, but back then it was free. Somebody answer that goddamn phone. Hey, an interception! I like that because it introduces a different sound effect other than the irritating whistle-blowing sound, which is like a cell phone going off in a theater. Over and over and over again. The whole Real Sports series of games from Atari back in the day brought sports games to a whole new level of realism, or so they thought. More so than the previous sports games, some of the original titles released in 1978 and 1979. The Blue Ballers just scored a field goal, by the way. The Real Sports games had silver labels, they looked nicer, and generally have better graphics than their previous sports titles. Real Sports Football, I think, went a step backwards. I, I Actually, Football from 1978 for the Atari 2600 is a better game. Neither of them resemble football in any way, although the Real Sports Football cartridge does resemble football a little bit more. For one thing, none of the receivers can catch anything. My kicker is definitely the MVP of this game. I think with many sports games, the closer they get to realism, the further away they get from fun. The Atari sports games I find most fun when they least resemble sports. Like Home Run, that's a fun baseball game, but it really has nothing to do with baseball. For a complicated sport like football, the Atari 2600 is obviously very limited because the controller only has one button and one joystick. You choose your play by moving the joystick in a certain direction. You've only got a couple different passing options, which are all basically the same, except some are short and some are long. And then two different running plays. By not moving the joystick and just pushing the button, you can punt and kick field goals. And the controls are basically the same for defense. You can play the game single player, as I'm doing here, against the computer, which is boring. Or you can play a friend, which would be a little bit less boring. Football video games didn't start getting good until Tecmo Bowl on the NES or Madden on the Sega Genesis. Those games had some character, and that's something that the Atari football games were sadly missing. They get an A for effort, but a D for execution. This is one you can pass on. Real sports football.